welcome to another edition of WP Engine Builders. My name is Nick Diego and I'm a developer advocate here at WP Engine. Today we're going to be speaking about page creation patterns, what they are and how you can use them in your own projects or themes. They're a great way to really curate the editor experience for your users or clients. Let's begin. All right, in our video today, we're going to be using the 2022 core WordPress theme. So this is the theme that came out in January of 2022, and it provides a good basis for us to explore some of these features within WordPress. In addition to the 2022 theme, I'm going to be using the Gutenberg plugin. I always like to use the Gutenberg plugin in these uh, tutorials because it uses the latest and greatest functionality that will be coming to WordPress soon. So some of the functionality we're going to talk about today concerning page creation patterns needs some of this new functionality, which will soon be available in 6.1. All right, so I'm assuming that most people watching this video are familiar with patterns to some degree. So a pattern, you, you know, you create a new page uh, or post within WordPress and you can insert patterns, which are just a combination of blocks and you can insert patterns to the page. Now, patterns are generally, in, you know, all the patterns that we're seeing here are included by the 2022 theme or you know, WordPress includes some patterns, uh, WordPress core includes some patterns itself. But one of the problems with this kind of interface is that when a person creates a new page or post or custom post type, they're presented with a blank canvas. Now patterns go a long way in solving that problem because it gives users a you know, one click option to insert a design to the page. But, some, but you're still presented with a blank canvas. You still have to go over to patterns. You still have to choose the right pattern, you know, wade through all the different patterns that the theme provides to pick the right one. And so the idea behind page creation patterns is how can we improve this user experience? How can we present a user when they're creating a new page with a selection of patterns that closely match the type of content that they would want to design their page to look like? Thinking, think about like about page, home page, contact page, testimonials, whatever, these types of designs a user would want to, you know, as a starting point for their, for their page or post. And these page creation patterns allow you to present those patterns uh, to them before them, they have to go through and look through all the different patterns on the theme. So they're actually really easy to create. And let's hop over to the folder structure for the 2022 theme, and I'll show you how to do that. So inside of the 2022 theme, uh, the theme registers patterns. There's actually two methods to register patterns. For more information, check out uh, our articles over on WP Engine Builders. Great uh, article about uh, patterns. I'll include that in the show notes. But in the patterns folder, you're gonna see all the different patterns that are included with the theme. Now, the builders of the 2022 theme designed a whole bunch of patterns for about pages, specific layouts, the types of content, that you might want to be a page creation pattern, something that's available directly to the user as they're going to create a new page. So let's click on some of these about um, page patterns. And what we're gonna do is we are going to define another uh, pattern attribute called block types. Now, this is actually part two of our pattern article and video series. And if you saw the previous video about contextual patterns, this will make a lot of sense to you. This block types attribute can do a whole lot. It can create contextual patterns, page creation patterns, and then semantic patterns, which we'll talk about in a future video. All we're gonna do here is gonna define an array. And then inside of this, we need to define block types. And so the one we wanted to define here is post content. So now what we're doing here is we are assigning this pattern to the post content block type. Now, if you're not familiar with the post content block type, you know, it's not something that you traditionally add to the post and page editor. So if we see here, well, you know, you can technically add it. It's not, you don't usually add post content to the content of the post you're creating, right? And so how this block works, we can actually see more clearly if we take a look at the site editor. And so if we click over into the site editor and we go into our templates and then we click on single, we can see down here that we have the single uh, post content block that renders all the content for our pages and our posts. You can see that here in the list view here. So when we are assigning a pattern to the post content block, 
what we're saying is that when a user goes to create post content, uh, present this pattern to them, assign this pattern to the post content block. Now, because post content is not available, you know, what we're seeing here is the kind of the inside of the post content block, we get some unique functionality. So if I was to, let me just double check that I've saved. Yep, I've saved. Now, if I was to refresh this page, now when I create a brand new page, because that pattern was assigned to post content, I now get this nice little modal that displays the pattern and allows me to one click insert it. So let's add this to a few more to get the full effect. So all I'm doing here is copying and pasting this pattern attribute. So now when I refresh the page, now I have the three patterns that I've assigned as page creation patterns, which provide a user with one click option to insert. So you can imagine if you were building a site for a client or building a theme, you could you know, create a bunch of about pages, contact pages, you know, so on and so forth, and present them all in this little modal it allows a user or client to quickly insert those and get building rather than fumbling around with all the different blocks that are available or all the different patterns that are available. Just really kind of streamlines the user experience. But that's pretty, that's pretty much it. We'll talk about a few more features, but we've created a page creation pattern and all we had to do was apply this block types attribute. So Couple more things. So one of the things that's interesting here is that when you add this functionality, it only by default adds it to pages. So if I was to come back over here and I was to create a new post, you'll see that nothing appears. And the way to fix this or the way to add patterns to posts or custom post types when you create a new one, you need to define what's called another uh, parameter called post types. What this does is this tells the WordPress that this pattern should be applied to multiple post types. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do, we want, still want it on our pages. We're gonna do page and post. So we can save this here. Now when we come back over to our post and refresh, like we're adding a new post, now we can see that pattern there. So this provides you a lot of flexibility because you could create specific patterns just for posts specific patterns just for pages, and then using this functionality, present those to users depending on the type of content that they're creating. Now this can become really powerful when we're talking about custom post types. Now this theme, I've added this to 2022, but I've created the books custom post type. And what we're gonna do here in the next section is we're gonna add some custom patterns just to the book's custom post type. So you can see how if you had a bunch of custom post types on your theme, you could really create a unique experience where when they go to create a new book or article or whatever the custom post type might be, you present that user, that client with dedicated patterns specifically for that post type. So let's go back over to pages real quick. Now I've already created some patterns and four books. I've included them under the columns category and we scroll down. We can see that we have this multiple book pattern. Take a look at it. And then we have a single book pattern. Now that's great. It's, you know, it's included our, our whole pattern library, but it doesn't really belong on pages, right? It's really, I've created this for the book custom post type. It really belongs on the book custom post type. And when I go to create a new book, come back out here, when I create a new book, I want to present the user with these patterns for them to select from. Right now, we just have a blank screen, which is not obviously ideal. So what I've done is, and this is another introduction to different ways that you can register patterns. I've created a patterns folder. Now there's currently two ways to register patterns. Again, more information in our WP Engine Builders articles. But the other way is to just include a patterns folder and then include the PHP file for that pattern uh, within the folder and WordPress will handle all the registration for you. So that's what I've done here. I've created book multiple and book single. And again, WordPress handled all the registration. Now it looks a little bit different than what we were doing before where we had the arrays and everything like that, but the, but the layout is similar. So back over here where I had 
post types, core, post content. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over to books multiple and I'm going to do uh, uh, block type core post content. Now we'll save this. And now because this is a book, it's not going to show up unless we define post types. So we'll do post types and we're going to do book. So now if I do this correctly, come back over here and I refresh, we should see the pattern. And there we go. Now we have our multiple book pattern. Let's add the same functionality to the single book. Delete this, save, give it a refresh. And now we have our two book patterns that are designated specifically for books. And notice that we're not seeing any of the other page patterns that we decide we assigned as page creation patterns because we didn't tell WordPress that they belong to they also belong to a book. So we can change that just to show you how this works. Let's go back to our large, just go to this one here. We can add book here and when we save, we will get that other pattern as well. And you can see that right here. So this provides you with a ton of flexibility to really improve the user interface within WordPress. Take the patterns that you've already created and then assign them using the, the block types uh, attribute so that they show up when a user goes to create a new page or a post or a custom post type. So tons of flexibility, tons of cool things that you can do with this. And uh, I look forward to seeing what you're gonna do with post patterns yourself. All right, well, I hope you learned something about page creation patterns and how you can use them to enhance the user experience within your WordPress site or theme. Uh, again, my name is Nick Diego. I'm a developer advocate at WP Engine. And if you'd like to see more videos about building with modern WordPress techniques, make sure you like and subscribe to WP Engine Builders. So that's all for today. See you on the next one.